Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great honor for me to give a talk on this uh, workshop of celebrating Professor Kashiwara's birthday. Uh, so, Professor Kashiwara developed many new theory, important theories, but I cannot, so I can produce only new spaces, new varieties, and today I also, uh, I send uh, my recent construction of <coughs> new syntactic varieties and uh, its quantization. So this is uh, based on the joint work with Brebham and Finkelbaum. So the paper appeared just uh, this today. So this, uh, <laughs> so this number. Okay, I first uh, review uh, Or, or mathematical definition of Coulomb branch. So Coulomb branch is originally uh, considering mathematical physics, but we try. So the, the definition uh, is, in mathematical point of view, uh, it's obscure and you cannot justify. Uh, the physical definition naively, but we give some alternative mathematical rigorous definition. <coughs> so let let us take a reactive complex data reactive group. <coughs> then I consider the affine plus margin. So this is, is a modular space, so the modular space. So this is a pair of bundles and trivialization. So P is a so G bundle over the disk. And phi is a, its trivialization of the except the origin. So D is a formal disk. <coughs> and D, 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 D is the puncture disk. <coughs> and uh, you have the action of G of, so I, I did not this, this by O. And so you have the action of GO, affine plus margin. And so I will later use geometric satake correspondence. So at this point, I just recall. So you consider the category of power C, DO equivalent power C on a high glass mining. And then you can define convolution product. So this, then it becomes a monoidal category. Then uh, this monoidal category is equivalent to uh, the category of uh, representation of Langland's dual group and the, this convolution product corresponds to the tensor product. So this is Langland's dual group. <coughs> so G is uh, uh, G and also we take N, so this is a finite dimension representation of G. So this Coulomb branch is defined uh, for a given pairs of group and its representation. Then uh, I consider a variety, which is a kind of uh, certain space which lives over a fungus manner. So this is a modular space of triples, P and phi and S. So P and phi is the same as a fungus manner. So this is a section 
of associate bundle. So you consider, so since you have representation G, so you can consider the uh, vector bundle uh, uh, twisted according to this P. And then uh, you import this condition. So you send <coughs> section by phi, the distributization. Then uh, phi is a Russian just, just to represent outside uh, the origin. So phi of S may not be uh, re regular at the origin, but we require this, this to be N of O. So this is regular at zero. So this is a closed condition. If you don't put this condition, then it is a vector bundle over a fine glass manual, but because of this condition, this is just a closed sub-variety in, uh, in the fine glass manual. Yeah. <coughs> and you have now action of G of O on R. Oops. I don't know. What is good to wait? <laughs> Maybe I'm confused how to use it. There was a book over there. Yeah. Or the So this is fine. Okay. Ah. I must first. So oh, we consider geo equivalent Borel Moore homology of R. And uh, I mean I don't explain the, uh, how convolution product is defined, but you have considered some some diagram. Uh, for the left end is a product of a fine glass manion, the, the right end is a fine glass manion, a single copy of a fine glass manion, and you pull back and push forward. So on, on this variety R, you have similar diagram, and you can define a convolution product. <coughs> so this is a link, and in fact, uh, because, I mean, you, you already see in this DCM geometric SATA case, so this tensor product is, of course, commutative. Uh, so this, this is, again, by the basically the same reason, this is commutative. <coughs> so we just define Kuron branch, MC. So this, as I said, this depends on MC of G and N as its spectrum. <coughs> so we show that this is uh, finitely generated, and this variety is a fine algebraic scheme, but in fact, this is a fine algebraic variety, no normal fine algebraic variety. And uh, so this, this construction, I mean for various choice of G and N, you get many, many spaces. And uh, this includes many interesting spaces. For example, slices in a fine glass manion. What is the dimension of the variety? Well, it's rank of the uh, dimension is equal to. Twice? Twice, yes, twice. <coughs> Slices in alpha and glass manion. So this appears if you choose G and N from uh, those, uh, you take quiver gauge, sorry, the so called quiver gauge. Sorry. I will explain later for a very special example <laughs> of finite type. And uh, but even for affine, if you take a quiver gaze of affine type, then you get the so-called Cherex bow variety. So this is a new kind of variety, which was introduced to Cherex several years ago.
and this, this variety uh, has a natural quantization. Yeah, that I will explain now. So you consider the sister action on the disk. <coughs> so you consider the equivalent homology of larger space. So this C star acts also affine glass manual and R, space R. Then, uh, so this, this becomes non-commutative. <coughs> and you can consider this to be a deformation, non-commutative deformation of the Coulomb branch. So deformation parameter H bar appears uh, like this, H, you consider this uh, equivalent cohomology additional, this C star. So this is a polynomial in, in one variable. So this, this is uh, non-commutative deformation. or quantization. So which object on the blackboard is called the Coulomb branch? MC, so it's just upstairs, MC. MC, MC this spect spectrum, this commutative ring. This, this is usually called the quantized Coulomb branch. So then, uh, because of this, so if you have F and G, functions on the Coulomb branch, you can define Poisson bracket. So first you lift it to here, and then you take commutator, and this, this vanishes by at h bar equal to zero, so you can divide by h bar, and then you specialize it to h bar equal to zero. So this is a definition, you, you, you usual definition of Poisson bracket. Once you have this, non-commutative deformation. And you can also show that this, 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 this uh, gives, this is coming from symplectic, symplectic form on regular locus of the Coulomb branch. Coulomb branch is in general singular. <coughs> And we uh, conjecture that this sing singularity is so-called symplectic singularity uh, in the sense of Bovian, but so far we don't have proof of this statement. And there, are, I mean, there in some cases we can construct the resolution of singularities, but that's, that's not so often. And we do have an example which uh, is known to be uh, that uh, which is known to uh, not having uh, symplectic resolution. So you really have some sing singular varieties. Okay, so this is just a review. Any question? So when you say symplectic singularity, what do you mean? So this is in the sense of Bovier. So if you take, uh, there's some resolution, not to, uh, so you, you, you can pull back this uh, symplectic form defined on regular locus, then it extends, but not necessarily uh, non-degenerate. So if it is non-degenerate, this is a symplectic resolution. So symplectic singularity is, says that the existence of such resolution. And you, I mean, there are some, some, some general theory about uh, this structure of variety having symplectic singularity. So you can use some some result. For example, the number of symplectic leaves are finite, so it's a kind of nice space. <coughs> yeah, maybe in this example, so, so you can directly check the number of symplectic leaves to be finite, so I'm not sure that this is useful or not, but I think it's, uh, uh, it's a little optimistic, but it's natural conjecture. Okay, now I just start new construction. 
So from this definition, you have map from space R to, to a fine glass manion, just forgetting section. So instead of uh, considering Borel Moore homology of this space, you just consider the object shift, shift on a fine glass manion. So I denote this by A. So this depends again by G and N. So this is pi star of omega of R. So this is a dualizing complex on R. <coughs> so you can recover the, so this is, I, I take uh, everything in, in, in the equivalent category. So pi is a proper map or? Pi is not a proper. Pi is, uh, I mean, so the, f the Phi by is, in fact, infinite dimension, so infinite dimension vector space. So, so you must be, but it is, you can ap approximate when, I mean, I don't give a precise definition of this cohomology, but you can always approximate it by finite dimensional space in practice, if you fix the degree. So phi bar is a vector space, and, but the dimension of the vector space uh, changes if you choose to change the point in the fine glass manual. But the complex, the dualizing complex, you see it as a complex in what? So this is a complex. Not, not about it. So this is not. I mean, you must take in the completion, but basically this is uh, complex on the affine glass manual. And if you take cohomology over the affine glass manual, then you recover this. The original identity. So in that sense, you you, you can you can uh, instead of wa working on this, you can s uh, consider this properties of this shift A. Then you can show the following. So this is the first main theorem. In fact, if it, this is not so difficult. So A is a commutative. A uh, ring object in D. D of. <coughs> that means you have multiplication. So, as I said, uh, on the category of power shifts, geo equivalent category. Publishes on affine glass manion, uh, you consider the geometric satellite correspondence, you consider the convolution product that extends to this derived category. So, this is a convolution product of A itself in this. Then uh, you have a morphism to A, and you also have a unit. So, this is uh, one. Wow. So this is skyscraper ship at at the unit. Ah, maybe I should say that this skyscraper ship is a unit for this tensor category, monoidal category, and satisfies this uh, usual property. Uh, so this unit and associativity. And the commutativity. So commutativity means that, for example, commutativity means so you have so this in geometric satake, in the proof of geometric satake correspondence, you, you construct commutative commutative constraint from here to here. Maybe I need a little bit more. Yeah, I cannot really distinguish the two A's, but so you swap two factors. And there's natural isomorphism between them. And you have map, maybe one, two, two, one. So this is commutative diagram. This is commutative. So the right 
for the derived category, you take which kind of sheaves? Uh, constructible sheaves. Constructible sheaves. Uh, Geo equivalent constructible sheaves. Complex, uh, complex. Yeah, com over complex field. Yeah, you can work on by integers probably, but we are not sure that what, what kind of space we get. statement on the other, is that an E2, I mean, is that an E2 object or an E2 object, do you know? Or that kind of thing, I don't know. Yeah, in fact, that, yeah, I, 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 I said that the proof is easy, but uh, in fact, uh, our proof is so far not satisfactory, and at some point, uh, some, some dirty argument there is, so we use so. So, uh, observation. So there are other examples of commutative ring object. Yeah, in fact, there are not so many, as far as I know. So one is, of course, unit. Unit is a two three pair. But another one, uh, important one, is this, what we call regular shift. So this is, this corresponds under geometric satake to, to regular representation. You should write G-check. Ah, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe you are right. <laughs> make your, make your representation. Yes. So we ha want to have uh, object in our fine glass mine. So it's really confusing which which we should to, to put to check. <coughs> So natural question is uh, AR appears as A of G prime and uh, for some G prime and N. <coughs> and uh, in fact, uh, does it appear that the question? Or yes. So this is a very uh, two, two different construction. I mean, this is not really construction, but so we have make this construction, and we just ask this old example can be constructed in our new way. What? Yeah, yeah, the gr group must be changed. So there, you need also a map to map it to the same Grassmannian, then. Yeah, same Grassmannian, but G, yeah, it's a little bit more, more complicated. I, I will explain. In fact, the answer is yes. I mean, after this modification uh, for type A. So G, G, G prime has a map to G, 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 but the G prime is much bigger, in fact. Can I ask something? Yes. Yeah, so that, uh, um, what is the notation? A, G, N. Yes. Why is G, what is the I mean, this is not, in general, not the perverse shift. Huh? So this is just complex. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 yeah, but it's okay. So, but that is a, that is a direct category of perverse shift. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it is in the direct category of representation of not more complex. Not, not, uh, so that is a little bit more complicated. Yeah, it is equivalent to derived category, which is much more complicated. So it's not, it's not just derived category of several sheaves. It's just that uh, it's, it's, it's a derived oh, okay. category, which, is which you can also describe on the dual oh, side, but it's... Okay. Yeah, there is some discussion by Bezukashen, I can think about, but oh. the object, yeah, so this category is much more complicated. Oh, okay. <coughs> 
But so you don't know, you don't know uh, what it becomes in this deform category? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. No, in some sense, that's the whole point, that they don't know this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you could construct this common branch is completely algebraic. <laughs> <laughs> and what I do want to say, so so and all, we, 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 I mean, at least after the, some modification of, of this construction, we hope to uh, get uh, uh, this regular shift for classical groups constructed in a sim similar manner. But, but we are sure that the exceptional groups for regular shift for exceptional shift you cannot construct by any choice of the G prime. <coughs> So this is really new construct, new, new how to say, combining. And once you have this uh, commutative ring object, you can take a tensor product that is also commutative. I, I will explain it. Long branch is symplectic manifolds, very small dimension, twice rank, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then is it is this group of length lens dual group on it? What 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 do you say? It's a object. Oh? Yeah. What? I don't quite understand the question. Mm -hmm. So this is an object. A, A, A. I ask uh, you about uh, A. Uh, this, uh, if you can see the spectrum of this, uh, 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 I think you get some variety of action on G check, yeah? No, no, there's no action on G check. G check only acts on homology of perverse, of perverse sheep. Uh, no, and, uh, and perverse. this is homology of something. Uh, well, and, and also it's not, it's equivalent homology, which is. Uh, I already take the equivalent homology. No, no action on. G in general. <coughs> okay, uh, so so now from now A is just a commutative ring object. Then, uh, as I said, uh, so then you can h star of g of o of cool g of a. So this, in, in the original case, you recover the, the Borel homology. So this is a commutative ring again. And also, you can slightly modify. Uh, you consider x of skyscraper shift at the origin between A, then this is also commutative ring. So in the original ca case, I mean, this becomes trivial. But uh, in general, uh, if you consider some case, I mean, for example, so I will consider, but let me see, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, I need to explain. I need to explain it a little bit. Oh, what? Is it graded commutative ring? That is, is it graded commutative? Graded commutative ring, yes, yes. But there's no, uh, no auto homology group, so it's really commit, not a super commutative. Ah, okay. <coughs> and so if you take this regular shift, so this is studied many years ago, Archipop, Dudelkafniuk and Ginzburg. In 2004. So uh, this, maybe I start with this example. So spec of X group of one. A. So this is a uh, near potent column for, for the Langlands DR group. <coughs> and uh, the spectrum of H star of G of O, F R. So G check times G divided by W. So this is uh, basically constant slice. So you get uh, 
let me see, this is, yeah, this. <laughs> you get some symplectic varieties. And in from our point of view, you can consider this to be a construction of symplectic variety using uh, regular sheaves. Uh, but of course, in this particular case, you get some old friend. But it already says some, some, something I mean th this kind of construction might be important in, because nilpotent cone are very important in geometric representation theory. So this kind of construction may give us important varieties in geometric representation theory. <coughs> so I slightly uh, generalize modified construction. So this is the notion of flavor symmetry group which is just uh, used quite intensively. So we consider larger space G tilde acting. Uh, so any representation of larger group, which contains G as a normal subgroup. And I take GF to be quotient. So this is called flavor symmetry group in physics literature. Then. Uh, we have pi, so I consider the larger group. So this is pi, so guru of g tilde. But since uh, g of f is a quotient of g tilde, you have a map to guru of g of. So I d denote the composition by pi, pi tilde. So you can just a mimic by star of omega of Rg tilde n. So if I take this to be A, so this then this is the object in G of G F of of Grassmannium G of F. And this is again commutative ring object. So in order to recover, as I said, for type A, you can recover this regular sheaf. So we take the following construction. So this is a quiver gauge theory of type A. So n, n minus 1, n minus 2, and 2, and 1. So this means g. So maybe I put arrows. G is product of GLI up to this circle to vertex. I want to n minus 1. And the G tilde is basically you add GLN, well, additional one, times G. But you divide by all scalars, diagonal scalars. And n. N is just uh, uh, all linear maps corresponding to arrows. <coughs> so if you know the, the definition of quiver varieties, so you so this. So you consider uh, n direct sum of n and its dual space. So then you have a symplectic form, and you just make symplectic reduction by this group G. Then you get nilpotent cone. of type A, of GLN. And so this is some, some, some miracle case. It doesn't happen uh, usually, but uh, let me see. Oh. So Coulomb branch, Coulomb branch of this quiver gauge theory coincides with this quiver variety. So this we proved in the earlier paper. Ah, 
So, Sarah. So the square of branch for this example is also n. <coughs> and we, in fact, we, we, we can make a refinement of this. So this above construction, phi tilde star of omega rg tilde n. So this is, you get object in the the flavor symmetry group is PGLN. So this is regular C. So this we proved in this paper, appeared in this morning. So in the remaining time, uh, I will explain the application of this. <coughs> uh, to the understanding of uh, Coulomb branch of star-shaped quiver, right? Star-shaped quiver, sorry. Coulomb branch of. Shaped. Quiver gauge, sorry. sorry. So we combine, uh, we take several uh, this example, cop several copies of this example, and then combine at the, the center, at the vertex n. So this is. The star shaped quiver gaze. So you can have uh, L legs, L legs. And uh, Philip explained that, so this, in this case also, uh, G is product of all, all GLs and divided by, by, again, by central scalar. So Philip explained that corresponding quiver varieties are uh, open, sub open subset in the space of flat connections on, on S2 minus L points and with some uh, uh, monodromy uh, fixed around these uh, punctures. Maybe I just uh, say character variety. The bigger flavor symmetry is this. Hmm? Bigger flavor symmetry, flavor symmetry. No, in this example, no. And uh, this, this corresponds to, uh, as I said, regular nilpotent orbit, and the co it corresponds to, to, to taking a semi-simple, uh, regular semi-simple con conjugacy class at F, at those points. <coughs> then, uh, so you can uh, const, you can first make N, this central vertex to be f uh, flavor vertex. I mean, you don't take the general linear group. And uh, you just take push forward and to, to this affine glass manual for this central vertex. Then uh, you just, from this theorem, you just see this, this A of G and N is just uh, I of delta shrink of AR to AR. So you take L copies. Right? So this is basically QNS form. So as a corollary, 
So this spectrum, Coulomb branch, is the variety which Ginsburg and Kazdan uh, introduced recently. So this is one application. And <coughs> so Ginsburg's Kazdan paper is still uh, in preparation, so maybe nobody knows their definition. So I must uh, recall what it is. But basically, this you, you, this the, the, the right hand side. You just, just take right hand side for any group. <coughs> uh, this is spectrum. So there you well this is um, copies. <coughs> I mean they use uh, some algebraic uh, construction, but by result of, uh, I forget his name, but some student of B B Ginsburg, so you, you, uh, their construction is same as this. <coughs> so this for, for generality. And in this case, as I said, AR is something, I mean, by geometric circuit, again, this is a regular representation, so everything you can do by explicit, explicit construction. But so once you have, uh, as I said, a regular, uh, so this uh, computer, you, you, know, you, you don't need to take the same one. So you can take any, any, any uh, computative ring object and you make the same, the same construction. So you get really mu much more examples of this kind of construction. And so remaining time, is, so maybe I should explain this. Uh, the motivation of Ginsburg has done uh, construction and why it may be something to do with uh, star shaped quivers. So that is what I want to explain. So that is based on the conjecture of Moore and Tachikawa. Yeah, in fact, this is they, so this is a physical fact, and they just. Uh, translate it into a, a statement, mathematical statement, and so for them it's not really conjecture. <laughs> so from physics, physics perspective, perspective, so they expect there's a functor from two-boldism category to holomorphic symplectic varieties. Category of or category or symplectic varieties with group action. <coughs> so to S one. Ah, so, so if you, you first take com uh, uh, complex re reductive groups, that is first fixed, and the, so this construction. Uh, gives uh, Langlands dual, so I just I, I take G, G check corresponding to S1 and So for sigma, so this is some lima. So this is a topological one, so some, some two manifold with boundary. 
then it associates uh, m sigma. So you, this is a holomorphic symplectic action, and we have an action of g check uh, of number of boundaries. And what is the composition of homomorphism? So if you have sigma 1 and sigma 2, then, so this is sigma, m of sigma is a symplectic reduction. of the diagonal. So, so, so at each boundary, you have an action of G. So, so, you, 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 so this sigma and one and sigma two have a common bound boundary. So you have a corresponding group. And you take the symplectic reduction by this group. <coughs> and there is some normalization condition. Ah, before that, the, the first, first one is uh, G check, yes. So if you consider a cylinder, so this is the identity in this Boldism category. So this should correspond to identity object in this category. That is just a cotangent bundle of D check. <coughs> and so if you take this disk, then uh, it should correspond to G, 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 G cross cross constant slice. And uh, so from this axiom, so once you have two sphere with three boundary, then uh, by, by this gluing, you any must, I mean, two manifold can be constructed by gluing. So by this axiom, gluing axiom, so this is what I call gluing, <coughs> you can construct variety for anyone. But so we don't know what it is. No, there's no problem of uh, uh, isomorphism of our group or when you have, you have actions. Uh, uh. Only have a symmetric group action. And uh, I, I don't know. You don't, you don't put this. Um, there's no uh, uh, symmetric group of L acts. You're right here sigma. Everything is canonical. You can make everything canonical. Uh, Canonical, what do you mean by canonical? Uh, when you do the composition of cobordism, it's... Uh... Ah, so this is non-trivial statement. So you, so you, you, you have... Okay. So this is what you want? Yes, yes. So you can divide this or this, and you must get the same isomorphism. Well, this maybe plus group x on MC group. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that I don't... I'm not quite sure, yeah. That's part of the structure. Um, <coughs> and in fact, this is even for, uh, for for G G check is SL two. Then uh, this M of this this one. Maybe I just write M three. <coughs> M3 is just a C2 tensor C2 tensor C2. So this is easy, but this, this checking of this is non trivial statement. And G check uh, for SL3, then M3 is uh, minimal nilpotent orbit for E6. Minimal nilpotent. What time? Maybe I must. So this uh, this will be proved, and uh, so you you see the, this E three. If you remember this, this is coming from the star shaped quivers. So when SL three for SL three, we consider this this star shaped quiver. Uh, 
So you, you see the, this E6 linking diagram from this, and you can really show that this is minimal and important orbit of E6, but <coughs> this is some non trivial <laughs> from, from the definition, I don't, it's not so clear. So anyway, so I just uh, explained the uh, physical <coughs> intuition why this, 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 this construction for type 8 is something to do with quiver gauge theory, uh, starship to quiver gauge theory. So if, if you have some supersymmetric quantum field theory, in three dimension. <coughs> so you can assign uh, the so-called Coulomb branch, which I just explained, in the case of <laughs> gauge theory. <laughs> but you can also consider the Higgs branch, which for the gauge theory, this is, this is M M MC of Gn for gauge theory. And the Higgs branch is just n plus n star divided by, by g for okay. <coughs> But the physicist recently consider uh, another construction, different construction of supersymmetric quantum field theory. So they start with 6D, uh, miss some uh, mysterious theory in 6D, and you compatify uh, by Riemann surface, Riemann surface or this is not minimum surface. This is two manifold times S1. Then you get some supersymmetric quantum field theory in 3D. So this is example. Gauge theory is another example. And then uh, from this you can get Coulomb branch and Higgs branch. So expectation is if you consider the Coulomb branch of this theory. So this is open uh, subset of character variety. And Higgs branch is this, just I described, M of sigma. And this growing property is also a consequence of this construction. But this 6D theory is something mysterious, so nobody quite understands. <coughs> and this is say this in, in the category of this supersymmetric quantum field theory, you have involution called 3D mirror symmetry, which says if you have a theory A, uh, whose, which have Coulomb branch and Higgs branch, and if you apply mirror symmetry, you get another theory whose Coulomb branch and Higgs branch is swapped. So as I said, uh, if I start taking the, the quiver gauge theory, star shaped quiver gauge theory, it's Higgs branches, which I just explained. And Higgs branch is this open subset of the character variety. So if you just make change, then uh, you get this correct answer. So start. Quiver gauge theory. And this 6D compact divided with S2 minus L points times S1. So this, this is a 3D mirror to each other. And uh, so, so the 3D mirror is, is uh, uh, some new, new, new phenomena, and, but people are uh, somehow started to understand some relation between the, uh, some mysterious uh, relation between the quantization of both sides. So I think, so it may say something about uh, uh, some quantization of uh, character varieties. That, that is, I think, very interesting problem to st study. Thank you for attention and I stop.
Mathematical duality is implemented as what? As a symplectic duality. No, no, but I mean, what, what does it mean? Well, but mathematically, so this, this category of supersymmetric quantum fields in 3D is yes. very difficult to, yeah. to but make rigorous. Yeah. But in, in this example where you know, you know the mirror duals. So, so they just naively say that in this 3D mirror symmetry, Coulomb branch and Higgs branch are swapped. That is only, I mean, physical definition of this 3D. The mirror. quantum level as well, yeah? Quantum level, I mean, if you, uh, let me see. So if you, you, you have two, as you, as it's something similar to, to, to this mirror, usual mirror symmetry. In the usual mirror symmetry, you have two U1s and you exchange two U1s. And in this three-dimensional three, three supersymmetric field, so you have two SL2s and you swap this. Yeah, and it, it's all holomorphic, like categories uh, of coherence shifts on one are exchanged with categories. Of Not something like that. So, so I, at this moment, we only understand the, the statement in symplectic duality. I mean, you can see symplectic duality, you don't need a 3D mirror symmetry, uh, in fact, so you can say it's a relation between the Coulomb branch and the Higgs branch, but you have both Coulomb branch and the Higgs branch have natural quantization, and those, and you have uh, the notion of category O's, and then those categories are possible dual, dual to each other. That is a statement of symplectic reality. Uh, maybe just, you, you, you started to speak about Gisborg cardinal varieties and mm -hmm. said it should be related to this moral uh, conjecture, but you didn't explain how. Uh, what is the relation between Ginsburg and Ah, so this 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 satisfies uh, the, 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 this is just M three. Okay, yeah. Okay. M M R. Yeah, so this is just. <coughs> I mean, I, I I just only consider the case of uh, sigma is uh, two sphere, but uh, it can be generalized to arbitrary arbitrary surface. So it's just sphere with L functions. Yeah. So under uh, Ginsburg and Kazan prove that this gluing mo most important gluing property is is satisfied. So is there an expectation, uh, uh, what happens to your 2D uh, fear theory if you quantize, if you replace M3 by uh, its quantized version? Does it, is there a three-dimensional theory or something? Is that, I mean, physically, is there something like that? Or? M3, I'm not. Because M3, M3 comes as a, as, a whatever, as a Higgs or Coulomb branch. Uh, M3 is a Coulomb branch. Uh, and the Coulomb uh, from, from this, I mean, this, you, you must, depends which otherwise you must start with from this. And this should, this should have a, a quantization? Uh. Other countries, what do you mean by other countries? There's one, I mean, uh, so there's an uh, upgrade of this, this construction. So instead of a symplectic variety, you can construct the uh, vertex operator algebra. Yes. And uh, so this symplectic variety can be uh, reconstructed from this uh, vertex algebra as an associ associated variety. And I heard that uh, Arakawa recently succeeded to construct but but I mean the quantization, so you, your construction of, uh, of the Coulomb branch comes also with the quantization? Uh. Yeah, that, this I explained. So, you so can, but, uh, can you, you what, you what if you, M3 is not the, if you replace M3 by, it, by the quantization, I mean, what, what should you get? Uh? That is in some new, I mean, even in the classical level, this is a new variety, not known before. But you, you Except can, the two examples. What, can you make a field theory by replacing M3 by the quantized uh, M3? By the quantized but version. I, I don't quite understand what do you mean by you have, If you replace symplectic varieties uh, by, uh, uh, by quantizations, uh, mm -hmm. is, there, is there an expectation that, it's also that there is a, a field theory like that? Uh, like, I mean, you could upgrade what from dimension two. I mean, this again, that is, uh, you, you just uh, replace this uh, symplectic deduction by quantum Hamiltonian reduction in symplectic. I mean, in no, I mean, no deformation. Right, I think if you take a group, uh, you can uh, naturally as associate a 2D theory, but with a quantum group, you can get a 3D theory, topological theory. So is ah. there something similar here? That's my question. I see. That kind of thing, I don't know. Other questions? Okay, so thank you.